Greetings, everyone, and welcome to Bata Stella Nation. So delighted that you could join us today. So it was back in November of 2021 when I created this tutorial, and that was focused on how to create game collections using the tools that Bato Setter provides. Since this tutorial, I've had a number of people contact me asking me, well, what happens if you have, for example, two folders? I got one folder for SNES, and I got a separate folder for Super Famicom, and I want to keep these two folders separate. So how do we create a custom game collection for Super Famicom? Or another example, well, what if you have, for example, Sega Mega Drive hacks? And I want to keep those games separate from the Sega Mega Drive folder. So because of this, I decided I'm going to go ahead and create a new tutorial. It's how to create custom game collections. And for this tutorial, we're going to use two examples. We've got here a folder of Mega Drive hacks. And we also have a folder here of Super Famicom. All right? And we're going to set it up so that Batosera will be able to recognize these folders and we'll be able to play these games. So let's go ahead and load up Batosera and let's get this puppy up and running. All right, so Batosera has loaded up. Let's go ahead and press F1. We're going to first focus on Super Famicom. Press F1. All right, let's go into the share folder. Let's go up one to the root folder. Let's go up to USR right here. And then from there, we're going to share. And from share, we're going to go to Emulation Station. And the file we want to copy is this one, es underscore systems dot cfg. OK, let's go ahead and copy that. Let's go to share. Let's go into system. Let's go into configs. We don't want the dot config. We want configs. Let's go into emulation station again. We're going to copy right there. Paste it. Okay, now that it's there, let's go ahead and rename it. We don't want to mess things up here. So let's just put a dot txt. All right. Let me go ahead and open it up for you. So what this is, all the consoles, how it's organized and how it has to run in Batocera. Okay. All right. Let's go ahead and close this out for the time being. I also have this file, ES System Dummy Console. Okay. It looks like this. So this is the format we're going to be using for all the custom game collections. Okay. Go ahead and close that out. Okay, let's go to our games folder. And the first thing we want to create is Super Famicom. So on the empty spot, right click the mouse, go create new folder. Let's go ahead and create Super Famicom. And there it is. Now let's go to our themes folder. All right, so my theme is about to set a club reloaded. So let's go in there. And now we have to create a Super Famicom folder right here. The best way to do this is go ahead and copy SNES because they're very similar. Go ahead and copy that. And I'm going to go ahead and paste it in an empty spot. And I'm going to rename that to Super Famicom. And there it is. Okay. If you go in here. You can see how I need to replace the icon itself, okay? This is for the SNES. I want one for the Super Famicom. The video file is right here. You can either create a new one or keep the same one. I'm going to go ahead and keep the same one because it is, after all, very similar to SNES, all right? So I'm going to go ahead and look that on the internet for a new icon. So when you use Google Images, you can find the right icon. You can download it and make sure when you download it, you rename it to system.png. you got to copy the same format that you see the theme using. Of course, every theme is different. So again, you have to look at it, how it's done. So let's say, for example, this is your theme. Again, you got to see how it's done there. Here we have a whole bunch of icons we have to replace. Okay, it's a little bit more complicated, but it can be done. Let's go back to my on theme, about to set our club reloaded. So it turns out I already found my icon. Got it here in this folder. And I can just go ahead and copy that. Go back into my share folder, themes, about to set our club reloaded. 
super fabricant right there and replace it. Yes, overwrite it. Okay, it's done. All right, now let's go back to our games folder and make sure you copy your games into the Super Famicom folder, right? Right in that spot. So let me go ahead and do that right now. I'll fast forward this section. Okay, so we are done. And now let's go to back to the share folder and let's go into system and let's go into configs and let's go to emulation station. And here's where the real work begins. So let's go to that file we copied earlier. Double click on that and hit Control F. And we want to look up SNES, the format for SNES. All right, so here we are. This is what we want Super Nintendo Entertainment System. We want to highlight where it says System right there and all the way down to the end of that section right here. Okay, we're going to go ahead and copy that section. Then we're going to hit Alt Tab. We want this to be open. Alt Tab. That brings us back to the folder right here. And now we can go into the dummy console text here. Now open it. Control V to paste it. And now we're going to change some things right here. So we're going to put Super Famicom. Super Famicom Path is also Super Famicom. This will stay the same. The extensions of the files will stay the same. Platform, change that also to the same name. Super Famicom. Theme, also Super Famicom. And finally, group change it to Super Famicom because if you don't it's going to group them all together at SNES. And everything I'll say is the same. So from this point forward every time we'll see a Super Famicom game it's going to load up this one here instead of the SNES. And from there go to Save As. Okay, we want to change. So I have a text file we want a CFG file and then dummy console we're going to change that to Super Famicom. Save. And then close it out. Let's test things out. All right, go ahead, file, close it. Hit the stop button on your game pad. Go into game settings, update games list. And we should do it. Let's see. And there we have them, both of them separated. All right. And my Super Famicom. Okay, so there's only one little glitch with this, but it's an easy glitch to fix. If you select any of these games, it's going to automatically exit the game. Watch. See that? So to fix that, go ahead and press the select button on your game pad, go into advanced system options. And from there, go into emulator. Since I set it to auto, for some reason, when it's set to auto, it doesn't work. So you have to select one of these. Any of these will work fine. Okay, let's go ahead and choose that right there. Select it. You can see there, it works. Try this one. It works. All right, so that's how it's done. All right, let's go ahead and create a Mega Drive hacks. Press F1, and let's go into the game folder. Let's go ahead and on the empty space, create new folder, Mega, Mega Drive hacks. All right, there it is. All right, let's go down to our theme folder, share themes. And let's go into Button Setter Club Reloaded. Okay, let's look for the Mega Drive right there. Just go ahead and copy that. Find an empty spot. Paste it. And we're going to call this Mega Drive Hacks. All right, so there it is. 
The only thing we want to change is the picture file right here. So let's go into my backup folder right here. Theme, Mega Drive Hacks. And that's what I want. Share themes. Back to about to set up Cloud Reload it. Mega Drive Hacks. Include it and replace that. Go ahead and replace it, overwrite. And now we have the correct picture. Let's go back into share. Let's go into system. Let's go into configs. Let's go into emulation station. Let's go ahead and open up the system config text file right here. Open that up. Hit control F to search for Mega Drive. Mega Drive. Uh, and there we are, right there. Select all this right here from system all the way to the end of that system right there. Control C to copy. Control Tab, because we don't want to close this. And from there, go to W Console. Paste it. Now we can change things around here. Sega Mega Drive Hacks. Name right here. Hacks. Exactly the way you have it before. Uh, path. Same thing, Mega Drive. Hacks. Platform. Get rid of all this, otherwise it will combine them together. Put Mega Drive Hacks. Theme. Mega Drive Hacks also. Group. Mega Drive Hacks. Okay. So again, you always got to change the full name, the name, make sure it's the same name as the game folder, the path right here, the platform, same name, theme, same name, group, same name right here. Okay, everything else stays the same. All right. Once it's done, go to the file, save as. And we want to change that to again to CFG, CFG extension. And so W console, we want to put Mega Drive Hack. Mega Drive Hacks. Enter. We should be good to go. All right, go ahead and close this out. And it's going to my share folder. I've got my backup here. I've got my games right here. So I'm going to go ahead and copy that into my game folder right here. Copy and paste. Overwrite everything. All right, Mega Drive Hacks. There are the games. Close window. Let's go ahead and press Start on your gamepad. Game Settings, Update Games List. And voila, there it is. This is Sega Genesis. And there's my Mega Drive Hacks. Okay. Make sure it works. Actually, it's not going to work. We got to change the uh, close out. So go ahead, press the select button. Go into advanced system options. And emulator, pick one of them. I'll pick this one right here. Game ratio, I'm going 16 by 9. Just the way I like it. All right. All right, try it out. Should it work now? Sega. Pretty cool, huh? <laughs> all right so we see we got it working okay all right now let's try something else one last thing before we wrap everything up press f1 let's go to our games folder for famicom games we got the fds folder and there they are right there okay that's different than the nes folder right here okay Close that window. B 
But you can see there, everything is combined. We don't want that. Okay, we want to separate them. Okay, so let's go ahead and separate them as well. Press F1. Let's go into a theme folder. But this is club reload it. Okay, let's see if it has an FDS folder. It does. Look at the picture here. Okay, I don't want that image. Go ahead. Uh, share a folder here. This backup folder I've got. Theme. This is what I want. Instead, go back to share to the theme. Let's go to about the set club. Reload it. FDS. Right there. And we're going to replace that. Yes, overwrite. I want that one instead. Go back to the share folder. Let's go into system. Let's go into configs. Let's go to emulation station. Let's go into the systems, config text file. Control F. We're going to look for the FDS. And there it is. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and copy that. All the way to the system right there. Control C. Alt Tab. We want uh, W console right here. Paste it. And we're going to go ahead and keep this the same. This the same. Console FDS. Platform. Group right there. Change that. Change that to FDS. And that should do it. That should do it. File, save as. Once again, make sure it has extension C, F, G, C, F, G. Don't be constant. Change that to F, D, S. Hit enter. File, quit. Alt tab. We can go ahead and close this one out too. Close it. Try this out. Here's the start button. Game settings. Update games list. Let's see if it worked. Voila! <laughs> and we got it working. We got it separated. Look at that. Huh? All right. So for this one, I think you select it, it should automatically work. Let's try it. Yeah, it does. All right, we got it working. All right, so see, that's how it's done. Let's go ahead and press F1. Let's go back into the system, configs, emulation station. I'm going to go ahead and do you all a favor. I want to go ahead and upload this file right here, this file right here, and of course, these right here as well. So you can just go ahead and copy those and paste that, okay? And I'm also going to go ahead and upload the extra files right here too. Mega Drive hacks, in case for those of you who have the Batista Club reloaded. Okay, I'm going to upload those to my website at batistanation.com. Look for the download section, and from there you can download it. And you can just copy and paste things. It'll make it so much easier for you. Okay, having this file right here and uh, this file right here, it can make it easy for you to exchange things, configure things the way you want to. Okay. Okay, so that is a wrap. If you found this video useful, please go ahead and like it. That would really help me out with the YouTube algorithms. If this is your first time watching About the Center Nation, I would highly encourage you to check out our website at aboutthecenternation.com, and that will give you a great overview of what About the Center is all about and what an awesome emulation operating system it is. And if you like it, you might want to go ahead and subscribe. Uh, that's a wrap. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time on About the Center Nation. Bye.